Shabbat. Hello and welcome to another episode of our Speakeasy Podcast. As always, we have Ken, John, and, and Dustin. Hey, Dustin. Dustin. Welcome. Surprise. He had his, yeah, Merry su- Christmas. Surprise yeah. visit. We got Dustin. Dustin woke up in my stocking yesterday morning. <laughs> and he took him out. And I took him out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could be pocket sized, I think. <laughs> <laughs> he came he came down through the chimney with care. Yes. Yes, thanks. Uh, Dustin uh he decided to make the trek out here to Jersey, which is freaking awesome. Uh because uh, I mean, we've been talking about this for the last like yeah. two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> two weeks. Well, yeah. I think since the first the first time I was ever on a, a guest virtually I, I yes i dreamed yeah. of being here so yeah yeah well i mean thanks for doing this man and uh out of curiosity how was the flight how was the traveling how was all that stuff uh not too bad yeah not, not bad. bad i mean you stopped in where colorado or something or no no denver. you went to Bo- cuz you went to denver first yep. and then dustin went to boston and uh, I want to hear more on that, but can we sip a little bourbon while yeah, we're talking on that, too? Let's get talk. in there. Yeah, let's get in there. Uh, real quick, uh, right now we are having a Hirsch. Um, Hirsch. This is 100% ratio, which with Hirsch, you usually see it's interesting the way they have that with with it. Because sometimes they have a ratio of um, 70% of this barrel and 30% of this barrel and it's a little, it's slightly controversial too, because be, because of that, because they call it a single barrel. Think about it though: is it really a single barrel if you're taking seventy percent of one barrel and thirty percent of another barrel and all that stuff? So it's, there's some controversy there with that. It should be called multiple barrel. Well, as they say, that yeah, multiple barrel. As they say though, they say there's really the rules on certain things like that. Is, there's really no rules. So, but the cool thing about this is this is actually. 100% from a barrel. From, and it's a single barrel single Hirsch, barrel. Yep. which apparently they say this is a nine year old purple top Willet. So naturally, I said, I want that bottle now. Cause, so you say that it's the same recipe? Same mash bill, same, same mash everything. Bill. Yeah, same mash bill. Same place. Yeah, this is a 72% corn, 13% rye, 15% malted barley. And um, now, if I read correctly, Hirsch is out of Indiana, right? Yes. And Willett's out of Bardstown, Kentucky. Yes. It, it, I think it said it was distilled there, right? I yeah. Thought, okay. On the side, I was, I, when I was like, yes. Um, single malt Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, double oak. So, and it is distilled. Yes, uh, Dustin hit hit the nail on the head with that in Bardstown, Kentucky, and it's bottled by Hearst Distillers in Bardstown, Kentucky. So there's okay. a lot going on. So here they went down there and they uh, yeah, got gotcha. you. There's some interesting things going on with this one, and I kind of like the secrecy to it. Yeah, and that we're having something that I may I've spent a lot less on than you would pr- typically purchase a Willet nine year old purple top for. So, and and you've had that purple top, right? Yes, I've okay. had different ones. I've ha- I haven't had the nine year though. Okay. So not that you would probably remember like instantly, but I'm curious how on point. Uh, yeah, I I I wouldn't be a great judge right now. I feel like um, of that. Thank you, sir. But I'll can tell you if it's good. It That's good. why it sounds like reverb. Have you guys ever heard of spring reverb? No, spring reverb. it's huge on guitar amps. But basically, there's a spring like a tank. A reverb tank in the All bottom right. of the amp. Like if you shake the amp, and sometimes it's on, you'll hear like, yeah, 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 it sounds yeah, like yeah, this. Yeah, 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 yeah. So w- our vibration is making it sound like a spring reverb. Ah, uh, I like it. That's exactly what I was thinking too. Yeah, I told you to not buy anything with reverb in it. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say, I told you not to bring this nerd over here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try this, and I want to talk a little bit more about Boston, man. Smell okay. it first. Yeah, get that nose. Oh it smells God. like caramel. Yeah, caramel. That was for Ryan. <laughs> that caramel. one's for Ryan. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it smells good. It does smell good. Yeah. Is it okay to drink it? Yeah. No, not well, let's. Cheers. Uh, yeah, we got to cheers. Cheers first. to Dustin cheers. heading over to the East yeah, Coast, Dustin, man. Yeah, Dustin. Thanks, brother. During the hustle and bustle of the holidays. Hey, thank you guys. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm not gonna say nothing. Yeah, that's pretty damn good, man. I like it. Is there a little smoky on the back end or something? No. Or is that no? No. 
Maybe I have something wrong with my tongue. Everything's smoky to me. (laughs) (laughs) No, no, he did it the other day too. Dustin, yeah, when he came, yeah, you came the first day uh, here. We were drinking. I think we were drinking Elmer T. Lee, and he he said something. I was like, "It's a little smoky." (laughs) <laughs> oh, but you know what, though? What was I eating? You were eating Cheez-Its or something like that, man. Yeah, it, but it tasted just like peat moss after I... <laughs> but then my second drink, I'm like, oh, dang, it It got unsmoked. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, this is nice. I like the way it lingers, man. It it, it, it sits there. It hangs out. It says, uh, you like me? I'm gonna. I'm just going to chill for a little while. Yeah. And, and you get that rye, too. What yeah. Is it like something? 13? Yeah, 13. If you mix it with a little bit of water, it's nice. Yeah. Oh, let me see. I do a little. I do a little sip in my mouth of water, and then I put that into the water, and I just swish it in between. And it's heavy. It's good. Did you do any of these? No, I don't want to destroy it. Oh man. No, no, I just want. No, no, do it. Like I didn't want to do it. Yeah. I didn't want to do that first before I put the water in my mouth because I didn't want to know if it'd, it'd make uh, it bad or good. Try it. I'm afraid now. Yeah, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be scared. Look at how afraid There's I am. There's no wrong way <laughs> to drink a bourbon. I'm just gonna try one. <laughs> One drop and see. Just make memories. Just make memories. <laughs> John's quoting uh, Freddie Johnson. Speaking of memories, though, I'm, you guys helped make some awesome memories this week. And we had a good week. I yeah, can't we tell you guys yeah. how thankful I am that uh, no. for one to like bring me into your homes and like bring me around, show me all the inside trader stuff that you guys do. Which yeah. is not much. Trust we don't man. do anything. Yeah. Yeah. No, man. The privilege is ours, brother. No, you know? it was awesome, man. And I just... And he, this guy is like way, 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 way too generous. Like, I mean, he's like a ninja with paying checks yeah. all the time. <laughs> and I'm like, God damn it. Come on, buddy. Let's... Uh, let us pay once in a while with everything. It's a very Let, generous guy here, right let, here. Let's start from the first yeah. day. You came in on a Wednesday. Yeah. You flew into Boston. Yeah. How was... So, how was Boston Airport compared to Newark Airport? I don't know. I wasn't in... This airport very long, right? Yeah. So, I mean, I could tell you maybe after tomorrow. Yeah, true. Boston. Yeah. To be <laughs> fair, I wasn't in Boston long for a little bit, and then all of a sudden my flight got delayed a ton of times, and I don't yeah. know what was I six hours late or eight hours. Uh, y- yeah, yeah, uh, five, five, five and a half. Five. Maybe you were supposed to come in at four thirty. You got here at like nine forty-five. Yeah, I was in yeah. a rush to have a drink and then get on the plane, and I did, and then the plane didn't come. So then I went back to the restaurant, and had more drinks, and yeah. then plane got delayed again so i took three trips to the restaurant which is weird because that plane came from newark too so it's like it's yeah it's leaving it was newark to come here to take me back exactly it was an interesting case with that how they had that with he had to wait for the plane to come from where one, he was going where he was <laughs> going yeah, no, I, was, yeah. I was there at the bar when it left that same exact terminal to come here yeah and then when it got here it must have been engine trouble something sketch uh so um, that's what the lag was. So the plane just never came back to bring me a second time. So. Yeah. Mm. But I met awesome people. Yeah, that's the thing. I go to this guy. I said, how ticked off were you? He's I like, know. no, man, I made experiences. I, I made friends. I made, you know, I'm like, what? What are you talking yeah. about? He's like, no, not, yeah. not here in Newark Airport, man. Yeah. Or JFK. You'd be yeah. on the corner, <laughs> like, bitching at people. <laughs> and, and there's a lot of people doing that. But it's like, really, like. The only thing I was mad about was that you guys were waiting, and like I feel bad for that. But like, mm-hmm. otherwise, nah. I have no. Re- I wasn't in no rush. Like yeah, for we myself. had a good time ourselves. Yeah, we? we made the best of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we was, we, God, yeah, we made do. Yeah, we made do. <laughs> it was like uh, when we went to pick up dust, and it was like uh, old school when they're doing the recruits for the when they're getting all the the, the fraternity people, and they're, they had the van pulling up, and yeah, like yeah. get in there. <laughs> He just yeah. came out of Newark Airport. So much traffic, and we're pulling up. I'm like, there he is. We just honk the horn. Touchdown. Get over Open up the side door of the van. Get your ass yeah, in. Let's go. Yeah, they just, like, <laughs> toss my luggage in. <laughs> I was telling them, like, I, I, he's like, let me know when you get your, your bag. And yeah. I'm like, oh, dang, I forgot to tell him. Got it. Walked yeah. right out the door, still looking at my phone. I hear, Dustin. <laughs> I felt like chariots <laughs> of fire. <laughs> slow mo. <laughs> exactly. It's like the police out there, slow motion. We're like looking at you. Like, yeah. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Not gonna <Get> make it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the only better funny. thing is if we had like lollipops, like Dustin with lollipops, and then you came ran to the side of the van and I took off. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect because you're in a van already. <laughs> yeah. Too. Yeah, so how, so back to Boston now. How was it though? You enjoyed uh, you enjoyed your time over there. You caught a uh, well tell. tell so yeah, yeah, I made a pit stop to Boston because it was a bucket list of mine to see All right. Celtics game in TD Garden, and I got some courtside seats, 
And then you see me on TV, which was cool. Yeah. I was like, Dustin, um, Dustin, it's on TV. <laughs> yeah. So that was, I went there for that experience. I, I hate to say it. Like, I don't know if something like lightning's going to strike me if I'm in New Jersey and I say, like, I like Boston, but I freaking loved Boston. That's all right. It's this has been Pub Suds and Grubs. <laughs> no, we're not even there anymore. Well, John's the only Yankee fan, so, you know. Yeah. I mean, it was just such cool people, a cool city, and fun. It is a chill city. It's a chill city. Yeah, dude. And the people I met, really, the people I met became a bigger experience than my bucket list game. Yeah. Courtside. Like, it you was went, awesome. You went at a cool time because you went during, like I said, the hustle and bustle of the holidays. People are starting to travel now. But you went on a time where it's like it's cold up there. It's not its on season. You know, it's yeah. like the off season. So you had probably a cool experience going into a bar, just sitting there, maybe being able to talk to the bartender or something because yeah. they're not going nuts, you know? Yeah. Yeah, man, and and just a, a random people around you, and it's not yeah. packed. You don't feel right. like you don't yeah. feel like a sardine or nothing. And you had a bowl of chowder. chowder. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I that's thought right. I thought when John texted me and said you got to get chowder, I'm like, oh, that's just how I I picture his accent when I <laughs> <think> <laughs> that's how he spells it. And then I go to that oyster bar, yeah, and it's chowder. Yeah, chowder. You, you went to what was it, the Union Oyster House yeah, or something like right that? Right across from the oldest pub, and they said yeah. the United States continuous pub. Yeah, that's that's a caveat. I Can you feel like the history in the air when you're around there, like looking at the buildings and stuff? Like for sure, but it looked yeah. like it because of how like quiet and nice everything was. It made me feel like I was in like a super fake movie set. Yeah, yeah, clean too, right? Clean. Yeah, Boston's pretty clean, I think, from what I can remember. It, it was clean, man. Yeah. I, where I was was clean. Yeah. I mean, I ain't talking like Tokyo clean, but it's like clean. So as far as I mean, they're big on seafood up there. Um, as far as the the chow that went, and I know you had some oysters. You mm-hmm. s- you had a preference though that was uh, like for chowder. Th- like, what was your favorite thing, basically? Shoot, I don't know, man. I th- I think just the experience. It wasn't yeah. even about the food. It was about sitting at the oyster bar in this classic place that yeah. that's so old that they don't even have the the plans for yeah. anymore, you know? That's pretty cool. And then a variety of oysters, and I'm talking to the dude that's shucking them with all the scars and his Ooh. palm from all the times he'd been stabbed. Ooh, hopefully, you know, he didn't, like, hopefully he didn't stab himself while he was making yours because he can get a yeah. little blood on the oyster. It's Tabasco. Yeah, you know. so, that's not Tabasco, buddy. <laughs> it's iron. I don't know. Hemoglobin. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think it was just the whole experience, man. I've had better chowders. Okay. I ain't going to lie, and I've had them in places where there's no ocean anywhere, which is whatever. That's sketch. Yeah. Uh, but... The amount of clams and the chunks and yeah. the quality of the clam itself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they load them up there. It was the best. They definitely load them up there. Yeah. I'm just like spicy things, though, I think, is yeah. really, yeah. you know. So in, in New New England, like that area, they're famous for their New England. <coughs> Here in New York, New Jersey, we have our Manhattan clam chowder, which is more of a tomato-based tomato, yeah. broth. Yeah. It's like tomato soup with, yeah. And with then when you go to Rhode clams. Island, they have Rhode Island chowder, which really? is uh, clear broth. What? Interesting. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. It's just the same ingredients. It's a clear broth. What do you think? How do you th- how do you think it compares? I'm I'm a New England guy. I'm I like New the creamy. I, yeah, I like yeah. the creamy too. Yeah. Yeah. When I in West Coast, like we do a lot of half and half, so it's half red, half white in the same bowl, and it's poured almost like a poured like a half and half, half, and half beer. of a beer. Yeah. Um. So it's d- like not fully segregated. There's nothing separating the liquid, but then everyone just stirs it anyway. Oh, interesting. But it tastes amazing. And then we even have like on the coast because how much, uh, you know, Mexicans a huge part of the culture. Uh, chili verde clam chowder, mm. maybe the best clam chowder I've ever had. Yeah, that's got to have some spice in it. <sighs> that got perfect amount. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, little eats good. Little eats good. But then, um, so you, you enjoyed the game. The, the Celtics did win, right? Oh well, yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> yes, they did. Well, I mean, they played the Pacers. Yeah, they didn't. They're being no. Uh, they played the Cavaliers. Oh, yeah. Cavaliers. Yeah, yeah even worse. worse. <laughs> 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 <Yeah>. <laughs> that no competition. <laughs> Yeah, but that was a blast, man. Yeah, and then he made the flight over here. We uh, we uh, went to a local pub. We did Shannon uh, Rose Shannon over in Rose, Clifton, Clifton, New cool Jersey. Spot, a little yeah. band playing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it wasn't a great old fashioned, but yeah. Uh, yeah. it wasn't a it bad was, old fashioned. It was a yeah, the music was decent though. They had some, yeah. some band playing there. And yeah, their harmonies. You got a bass player, singer. Like I got an yeah. affinity to that. Yeah, that's sure. true. That's uh, true. Why you play the bass? No. You play instruments? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> if I learned how to play, it would be bass and I might sing. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, we hung out here for a little bit at the speakeasy. Yeah, then we got to go to Catskills. 
<clears throat> yeah, we we went up to the Catskills, uh, up to the, my house at the lake, and um, that was a cool time. Yeah, we hit up some breweries, watched the fight, UFC fight. Yeah, and um, just just pretty much chilled. We, yeah, I think it was mainly just during the day where we kind of went around and checked out some of the mm-hmm. breweries, went out for lunch, all that yeah. stuff, and then at nighttime we just kind of hung out and and uh, then yeah. watched that fight, UFC. Yeah, yeah. I, I this uh, this sounds stupid stupid by me, but. Like, I thought cats, I didn't know cat skills was a real thing. Oh, all I right. I just saw it, like I mentioned, on Miss Maisel, and I, <laughs> I, <miss Maisel. laughs> I didn't know if it was even real. <laughs> you know? That, the, the cat skills used to be the number one uh, place to go to in the world, like in the 60s and 70s. Like, wow. mm-hmm. it was bumping, man. The cat skills were the place to be. I didn't mm-hmm. know it was, it was ginormous like, like that. Either. East Coast Vegas. Like, it's like everybody flocked to the cat skills yeah. this summer. Wow. So now you can see a lot more of the Brooklyn uh, transplants. People are looking to. Get a vacation home, get out of the city, get out from the hustle and bustle, you know. So there's a lot of more hipstery spots there now, um, which is not necessarily a bad thing. No, man. Uh, but cool area. I liked it. Well, I mean, it's home of Woodstock, where you are. I mean, you're, you're where Woodstock was. So yeah. that's what you get a lot of. Yeah, we're about. I mean, that's not yeah. everywhere. 15 minutes from Bethel Woods. Yeah. Cat- Catskills are, it's a big area. Yeah, yeah. it's huge. I didn't it's understand a really that. big area. Yeah. I just found out it was real, and then I find out it's real big too. Yeah, really, really big. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what else I found out was real, which is another thing that shows how dumb I am. I didn't put together New England when until you said New England clam chowder, and I'm like, wait a minute, Boston is synonymous with New England? Uh, uh, these left I, left coasters. <laughs> man, <laughs> gosh. I just I assumed I never Googled it. I assumed it was you know like the 13 colonies, like we are separated from England. This is yeah. the New England, right? Like right. Well, it is. I mean, the New England because that's where it started. The Maine, colonies, you know, and all Rhode that stuff. Island. Yeah. That's New England. Yeah, the whole area. All right. Yes. So, so, wait, so it's just like where there's Jersey, England's, we're New Jersey. There's York, England's, there's New York. No, or 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 another way too, like New Jersey, New York, and Pennsylvania. We're called like Conne- like Connecticut. We're the tri. Actually, not Pennsylvania. Tri- Connecticut, state. New Jersey. We're the tri-state area. You know, whereas New England's like that cluster of Maine. Yeah. Rhode Island. Yes. Well, yeah, I guess because yeah. technically uh, I see where John is going. Just with like this, a cluster. Because we are New Jersey, yet we're not part of New England. So, yeah, we're not part of New yeah, England. Yeah, but it was just as the settlers came, though, it was kind of, you know, yeah. they were they couldn't think of original names. <laughs> Let's call it New England. Oh, yeah, New hey, England. And in, in my brain, Boston was like south of here, but that was way off. Yeah, no. the the confusion was this that because New York does border Canada. Yeah, and I guess because we're right near New York, and every- I guess because Dustin can't Google a map. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, but that tip of that right side there, where Maine is and all that stuff, yeah, it kind of extends past there. So, yeah. Um, so imagine my shock when I look at the map. I'm like, wait a minute, <laughs> it's colder here. It is colder oh, yeah. up there. That is for sure. Poor Dustin had to get a hat and gloves and all that stuff while he was up there. Earmuffs and a yeah. beanie, but they were all Celtics, so then I couldn't wear them anywhere here. Yeah. I said that too, picking it up. I'm like, he's gonna look for that green god <laughs> Celtic <laughs> shit he's wearing. He's I, like, I the funny thing is, before I saw him on TV, <laughs> I go to John, I texted him, I'm like, I'm gonna try to find him on TV, yeah. you know. So I saw because I looked at he sent us a photo of himself, uh, a selfie, and um, I was looking at his surroundings. I was like, all right, I kind of pinpointed where he is right now. So I just like let me look around that area. I didn't even have to look around that area because they showed a clip of the coach, and I look. I all it was right there. I looked in the <laughs> background and I see Dustin there. I was like, oh my god, it's Dustin. <laughs> so, yeah. So yeah, I sent you a photo of that and everything. So that was funny. Yeah, yeah. And then um, so Dustin uh, and I we uh, we had a couple of bourbons when he came here. Um, he crashed, and we I introduced him to the for the first time to. A Taylor ham, egg and cheese. But you screwed up. All right, Dustin's he not res- a ketchup guy. He rescued <laughs> he it, up. though, with his table sauce. I have table sauce. sauce. Yeah, White House Station table sauce, for anyone who's looking for a good table sauce. Uh, it was a little, I kind of cringed when he was doing it, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. Yeah, hey, whatever you like, man. Whatever you like. <laughs> so he put some table sauce. Some, it's like a hot sauce, kind of. But it's um, hard, hard to explain. It's like... Ton of flavors though, so it's actually really good. Um, and then you put that on the sandwich, and because he's not a ketchup guy, and I had ordered it with ketchup. Sorry. But <laughs> so what did you yeah. think of Taylor Ham? Yeah. What did, yeah. What did you think of that? And you're in not itself? getting that. What does you? that mean though? Like the 
the everything bagel with no, like a ham. No, 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 no. What did you ham think? Of just the meat. Ham. Just the meat. In the it. meat was the meat is called pork roll. If you're in oh. Southern New Jersey, up here we call it Taylor ham. I guess yeah. I, I didn't analyze just the meat. Oh, that's, no. just, that was it's on a freaking mission. everything bagel, man. I mean, yeah. how are the bagels by you? Not like these. Yeah. yeah. No, your guys is you get like Thomas's. Thomas English muffin bagel. Yeah. It's about that stiff, <laughs> yeah. uh, that, that like really concretey. Yeah, yeah. How do they? Or, or as we talked about Panera bread. Imagine Panera bread making a yeah. bagel. That's what West Coast bagel stale. Gotcha. Like something called bread should yeah. be able to pull off decent bread. I'm and, just saying. But the one thing we did discover about Dustin is he he loves loves Dunkin' Donuts. Yes. <laughs> Every morning, he's like, can we go to Dunkin'? Yeah, hey, Dunkin' Donuts, come on. I need on. a coffee, I need my Dunkin'. <laughs> <laughs> on our first trip, he's like, we're going to hit Dunkin', like, Dunkin' Trussell? <laughs> yeah, Dunkin' Trussell. Uh, yeah, actually, we are joking, and uh, Dustin is not a Dunkin' Donuts kind of guy. He's a kind of, like, pinky up, um, fresh grounds coffee made by some uh, Guatemalan person. And, <laughs> and, uh, and just sprinkle some booze in it, <laughs> yeah. Irish coffee, that'll do his trick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's funny because we were me and him were gonna go for coffee and I was like oh, I'll go with you. I was like Dun- uh, Dustin, we'll bring you back some coffee. He's like, well, where are you going? <laughs> I'm good. Dunkin'. I'll go. I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> got to show them what they. Well, I, I got to show them what how it's done. I just don't know what I was gonna get, and I and I don't want you guys to pay for it. So well, that no. was the the train of thought. No. Yeah, that's so funny though. Yeah, and I you, you know what though when you see a Duncan out by you you're gonna think of us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I will. Yeah. I'll think of the cat skills. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like when there's nothing around, you better bet there's still hey, a Duncan. You throw your Kentucky bourbon cream in there, I'm sure it'll make it taste yeah. better. Yeah. 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 Yes. Bourbon makes everything a little better. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh so yeah, so we talked about the cat skills. What else? Um Well then uh we went on to New York City. The oh, shithole capital of the world. Yeah, like down in the city and we went to we a lot over. of places in the city. The only thing we didn't yeah. go is uptown, but yeah. who wants to be uptown anyway? We we, we started Shoot. out by Penn Station, MSG area, and well, we just grabbed a, a beer there. Then we, we went over to an awesome food spot, which, uh, what did you think of it? Cats Dude, is, I can't even, yeah. oh, that's where we went? Yeah. 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 So yeah. let's backtrack, let's backtrack. We um, went too many places I want to just first shout out my buddy Chris, because he hooked us up with a, a cool hotel room. Yeah. And his hotel yeah. was in a perfect spot. Yeah. Me and him hopped on the bus when Ken yeah. hopped on the train. Yeah. And then we walked by where he was, and he was sitting in an Irish pub. So we met him there, yeah. cracked a drink or whatever. Had an Irish coffee. Had an Irish yeah, coffee. Yeah, you like that Irish coffee. Um, But I remember, like, when we were planning on coming here, I remember when we were in Kentucky, you said like you love Rubens and you love pastrami. So that's when I told him I was like Cassis, yeah. and then he went on the Instagram. He's like, dude, we definitely got to do Cassis. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, all right. Yeah. When we got there though, the line was long, and I remember me and him looked at each other and we're like, is this gonna be fun? Yeah, worth it? we better be <laughs> worth it. Yeah. And that. then we're like, well, there's pizza around, and Dustin's like, nah, where else do we got to go? We're like, yeah. okay. And I'm <laughs> so glad we did, man. Oh, that sandwich. Because was oh awesome. my god. Was that the best pastrami you ever had? I mean, it's got to be up it's there, up probably. There it's with probably the best there. food I've ever had. Yeah. And but you make your own, right? Yeah, but, like, I don't do, like, that. Well, yeah. what's the difference? How, like, I don't I think I made the comparison before. I know you don't eat raw fish, but, like, if you have, like, an amazing high-grade ahi. Right. Like, buttery, just melt in your mouth. You don't, you don't even got to have teeth to enjoy and chew that piece of meat. That's how cats freaking pastrami was like literally falling off of everywhere like all apart yeah, it was yeah. like you melting. accidentally mishandle it and yeah. it just degrades in yeah. your yeah it had oh, that good fat God. on it, it had too, a nice though. bark yeah, yeah it was good yeah Jeez. well we each did a half a sandwich and a soup yeah we went with matzah you went with split pea yep yeah i only got a half a sandwich because of how big they were but then i ate it and i'm like oh One hell more. no i can murder this yeah, yeah. i, I should have just done a whole dang sandwich yeah it's yeah. soup yeah man yeah, I think our purpose was to not get full, and then we were going to do John's a bleaker. Yeah, we had some. Not immediately, but at some you point, know, not too far. And then after just eating it all, though, we were kind of like. Uh, and then we ate more because <laughs> uh, yeah. we went to. Well, then from there we went to that cool little that Irish dude that was co-owner of the he had a little. Oh yeah, the place yeah, was closed. Right. And he let us in. Yeah, let us yeah. in. Really. Yeah, that was um, the fool's gold. Fool's gold. Oh, dang, you guys got good yeah. memories. 
Yeah, that was a cool spot. I'd, yeah. I would actually go back to that. Place. And we actually we went to Haymaker first before Katz's, and we had some spinach artichoke dip. Yeah. Yep. A couple bourbons. We did get a lot of beer. Food. Yeah. Hey, we call that apps and taps where I come from. Yeah. It's like you I just think tour, it worked out, man. Every place. You know, yeah. it's because eventually we did go to John's Obliquer, Um and I think if we had whole sandwiches, I think that would have been it, like for the night. Yeah. You know. And we had yeah. the McSorley's. We went to McSorley's, one oh, of yeah. my favorite places, and we had cheese and crackers there too. Yeah. <laughs> so we had a lot of food. and onion, Dang, and yeah. onion, and you had you had the uh, McSorley's mustard. That was an awesome place, and it's cool because well. I don't know. I don't want to like give anything away or talk nah, about like, talk about it. Give rules. It so like how you can't order. You got to order a light or a dark beer, and that's it. That's yeah. it. And you got to order two. Like yeah, you have yeah. to order two. I don't know if they kick you out if you didn't. No, they just no. They'd school you though. If they're busy, they'll get mad. Though. I saw a girl order one, and he's like, "Is it just you?" She's like, "Yeah." And he's like, "Then two beers." Yeah, like, yeah. He's just like, "No, that's not happening." Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but, but they're they're small, short little pours with a lot of head. And they're, they're like, mm. like perfectly warm, too, though. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. It, I don't know. You can enjoy the malt flavor. It's not being hidden behind and some cold mug and a co- icy cold beer. Y- yeah, no. The guy, I, I, was, I, was, I was watching him. I don't get easily grossed out by shit. I, and I wasn't this time either. Um, but he was, like, taking, like, the mugs and just dumping them in the water, and then they were done. <laughs> like, it wasn't like they were being scrubbed. He was taking them, like, six at a time. He puts it in a big thing of water and puts it, it on, puts and then the other guy starts filling them up. I'm like, yeah, bro, I don't yeah. care. I love lipstick on my glass. Yeah. I'm good with that. <laughs> yeah, that could be bad. That could be bad. And, and, you know, the beers that they serve, it's light or dark. You don't know what it is, but it could be, like, it could be Budweiser. But it's just so good because you're in McSorley's, and that's the way you ordered it. No, there's no you way know? Budweiser tastes that good. No, I don't but I'm just saying. It, it could be anything. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah, it's true. But it's just the environment that makes it taste better. Because we've talked about that a lot of times with environment versus, like, the liquid that they serve. Yes. If a place serves shitty liquid, but the environment's cool as hell. It is so cool. I'm going to go there. Yeah. You know, but if they both suck, or even if the environment, you know, like, I don't know. The, the place could be shitty and have great beers. I might not go as often. You know, I, I don't yeah. know. It's a... And there's some places that have both. Yeah. Shitty Dude. environment and shitty beer. Hey, we yeah. forgot a bunch of other cool places we went, though. Keep it going, man. Keep it going. What else? But on well, the way... Should we fill up again, or should we yeah, sure. sip yeah. on uh, this? Do cause... some man beer? Or do you want to do the beer? Let's try the beer right. real quick. Because yeah. we did go to a few more spots. Yeah. And this might take a little while to get down. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> you said you might have to chew it. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, Ken's been holding on to this for a while. Yes, yes. And by, by, by the way, this, and I feel like we didn't talk um, uh, as much on that bourbon, but this was a really fantastic, flavorful, the right yeah, amount of heat. Right. It was a nice, good feeling bourbon. This is a nice wintertime bourbon. Like if it's freezing cold outside, I could sip on this yeah. in the snow and just relax with it. And the way it hangs out and you get the yeah. spice still yeah. kind of, like a good, I don't know. It's wind, Yeah, it's a good bourbon. spice. And the thing, uh, Dustin, and I, I can't say I have in a long time, um, had mentioned to me prior to this is, um, have you had the purple tops of that's close to this age statement? And unfortunately, I I did a, quite some time ago, so I can't necessarily honestly say how it compares to it. Right, at least right now. Yeah, well, I mean, it tastes good. It tastes good, and that's yeah, exactly. That's the most important thing. But, John, back to our beer right now. What do we... Yeah. Um, so this is uh, a cane that you've been holding on for for a while. It's an anniversary ale. Yeah. Uh, it was their eighth anniversary ale, uh, I believe, uh, 2011 to 2019, maybe nine-year anniversary. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, the the beer is called 2922, which I've been trying to figure out, and I can't find why. Okay. I don't know if it's the 2922nd beer that they brewed. Hmm. Does that sound right? I don't know. I can't I got find this anything twi- behind it. I got it. this before the pandemic, so 2019. Yeah, it's not like a. It's not a date. Yeah, I forget. Well, I forget, and I'm sure that anyway. so there's someone who drinks beer out there that's thinking right now. You guys are idiots. That's yeah, well, please let us know. Yeah, let us know. Yes, um, like that's that's the address of. Yeah, Kane. <laughs> yeah probably. So Kane, when up. we did the Poor Man's Poison podcast, by the way, with 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 all you guys, we sent a Kane beer. Yeah. yeah. So this these guys are out of Ocean County, so okay. so down, Jersey, Jersey Shore down the shore down the shore it smells bourbon barrel aged. Yeah, so it's yeah. a blend of barrel aged imperial stouts and porters. It's oh weird, uh, a blend, a blend. A yeah. Very, very. It's supposed to be very mapley, Madagascar vanilla beans, cinnamon. What? Uh, oh wait, two thousand nine hundred twenty-two expresses deep layers of caramel, chocolate, and maple syrup. This is gonna be rough, man. 
Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, He's like, oh, wait, did I say that out loud? <laughs> yeah. The proof on this is going to be pretty high. That's what I mean. Yeah. Not like rough like yeah, in taste. but 12.3. This I is going to be like a sneaky one. Yeah. Cheers, guys. It don't smell yeah. sneaky. Yeah. I'm just going to say. Cheers. Cheers. I'm sorry, dude. I feel like I'm in your way. Like, no, 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 no. Did I just put my elbow in here? I, like, I just. No, you put your elbow on me all the time. It'd be great. <laughs> Whoa. Wow, it's like really smooth, though. Wow. I was expecting a little bit of harshness. Wow. I think because you've been... You want to freeze this and put it on a cone. been cellaring it. Yeah, dude. This is fantastic. It's getting all those notes. I'm getting that vanilla. I'm getting that cinnamon. I'm getting that... Cacao. Tr- the but cacao. There's like no bitterness, though. No. Like none of the harsh, like the dark chocolatey bitterness. I thought it was going to be boozy, man. I thought it was going to be really I know. It <laughs> it's like not. I know. I, I was expecting a punch. Yeah. Not getting that. Oh, this is dangerous. Yeah, this is dangerous. It's a nice winter beer, too, at that. Oh, man. Yeah. It's nice for you to enjoy a stout in w- real winter weather. <laughs> yeah. <you know? laughs> yeah. We don't see those. Warm you up inside. Yeah. We do get winter. It's mm-hmm. foggy. It, I mean, it's not cold like you guys, but yeah. But we only get summer. Besides that, yeah. Well, happy anniversary! Uh, four years ago, came. Four years ago, came. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Hey, by the way, um, side note: I asked Dustin before if he ever tried chocolate covered potato chips, and he's like, "No, I haven't." So, um, so we said, "You got to try them." And John actually hasn't tried them yet either. Never so, had them yeah. Them. It's definitely a wavy lays. This though. is from um, we, we were in Morristown for lunch, and I went to uh, Enjoy Enjoy Chocolate. Um, oh, I saw that. Yeah, that was next to the laundromat. That chocolate place next to the laundromat. Yeah, oh, yep. yeah, yeah. Give it a shot. It's got it's got some weight to it. Some dirt. Yeah, I love chocolate covered bacon. Uh, go to town, fellas. This is them crunches. Mm, it's real good. I love the chewing <laughs> on the mic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anybody listening on like Spotify is like, what the hell? <laughs> Head- <laughs> headphones make the experience so much better. Dude, I'm digging that. It's good. That is good. It's so good. That's a little dangerous. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm not sure I get all the flavors. Let me try one more. Hold on. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Good job, man. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. I like that. So good. Hmm. So, some of the places that we skipped that mm. I think we need to talk about, and because I think you guys got a cool clip there, which you also got a clip at McSorley's. Is that how you Yeah. Said? We did do a clip at McSorley's. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I was. I got to be camera guy. Yeah. Um. Uh. We went into all those cool breweries, and I got to meet Dom the dealer. Mm. The beer oh, yeah, dealer. Yeah, we in uh, the Catskills. Yep, we on the did, way out uh, of the We started with Equilibrium. Yeah. And then we wrapped it up. Well, we d- we pre-wrapped it up at the <laughs> yeah. last Squisky Bar. Yeah. Which yeah. was awesome. Yeah. And then we really wrapped it up. Like, but I'll let and you we guys. got... So, we did Equilibrium. Equilibrium. We went to Equ- Equilibrium. We went to this Equilibrium. place. Equilibrium. Oh, yeah, Tin Barn. I forgot Tin we barn. even went there. Yeah, Tin Barn. Uh, Tin Barn. We made our way back down. Yeah. Drown Lands. Drown Lands. Yeah. Dom hooked up something cool for us, so we were waiting on that. So we ran down to the last whiskey bar. Last whiskey bar. We had some burn. They didn't have what I ordered. I don't think they had what you ordered originally either. Yeah, no? we were yeah. we were we were looking for some more higher end stuff, uh, but we still got lucky. And got we got some some decent. They things. still had some high end yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. We we were we were aiming for that Pappy Twenty Year, I think, and uh, but we didn't uh, they didn't have that. They didn't one. have it. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was sad, but we we had a good time. And um, it was pouring rain. It was pouring oh, rain. Rain. It was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's was, like, I love rain. I'm like, what the? I hell? felt like I, I don't dance, but I felt like I should have been frolicking it's, in it. It's like I haven't seen it in 20 years. Yeah, celebrating the like water happening. And yeah. then we drive by and we see the houses underwater. We're still celebrating. <laughs> not celebrating it no yeah. more. <laughs> it flooded. <laughs> <laughs> I love this rain. <laughs> we did a we did a clip at Whiskey Bar, the last Whiskey Bar. Yeah, dude, why did uh, we, we did a couple clips? Yeah, we why did we not do a clip at the last place back at Drownlands? I don't know. I almost felt like I don't know. Oh, we shoulda, because I felt like that was hush hush. 
Yeah. We did take a couple photos, though, I think, yeah. in there. Uh, did you want to, uh, by the way, John, did you want to do the clip on our episode, or do you want to just put it, post that on Instagram? What are you thinking? You're the editor. Um, I mean, either we can either throw it in at the end, or let's just wait and have everybody come to our Instagram page and check it out. Okay. Yeah. yeah we can put it on Instagram. Yeah. And maybe we'll put it on the end of this, too. I don't know. Yeah, we'll figure that out later. We'll figure it out later. <laughs> and if you see it, you see it. <laughs> no, we may so not even put on Instagram. So <laughs> yeah. My phone might die. I don't know. Yeah. Someone's got to talk about this drone land experience. Yes. Um, so Dom is friends with the uh, everybody, brewer. Everybody. Yeah, everyone. Really, everyone yeah, there. Yeah. And Dom's like, hey, um, if you guys want, we can do a private tour. The the head brewer said he'll take us to the back, show us the operations. Um, we can pick his brain more, um, a.k.a. Dustin picks his brain. And... Um, and just learn a little bit, and it, it was. Uh, I mean, we did a lot. I mean, we went to the upstairs room. Yeah. That that it was like a, like a party room there, and and they had like whiskey and crap. In yeah, there. yeah. It was. It's pretty cool. They, they do weddings, so I guess they yeah. have to have like stuff for open bar. Yeah, really nice setup. So we started there. We're drinking some beers, like unreleased beers that this guy is like just wrapping up. Yeah. Like some of his first creations. Yeah. As head brewer. Yeah. Yeah, and and he was. Uh, 25? 25. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Yeah. I mean, he, he looked like a little baby, like, but he was like bigger than all of us. Yeah. In height. And he knew his shit. Yeah, he did yeah. know his. Oh, I'm just trying to. I'm going to double check. I think his name is Andrew, but I could it be. Is. It is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, Andrew with Hebrew over there. Young guy. Is smart like dude. Very Big smart. Future. Yeah, huge future. Um, and so if you're. And just the, the, the processes that they take these beers and put these beers through at Drownlands, you, you have a whole new appreciation for what they're putting out there. Yeah. And it makes enjoying it all the better, just knowing what they're doing there. In fact, I mean, I'm sure if we can pick up some beers in the future, I, I'm sure you won't be opposed if we sent you some uh, your way. Heck you know? no. Yeah. That, I think that was the best IPAs I had here. Yeah. Um, definitely the freshest. I mean, that stuff is not even in a normal keg yet yeah probably. yeah um but then he walked us through the whole like all their fermenters and the brew system and then even like test like one barrel fermenters that they're yeah. doing some test things the research yeah um and then to the back where we tried some other super cool rare ones like right out of the walk-in cooler yeah um right by their band set up like in the downtime like the dudes that are brewing back there have a band and there's like <laughs> yeah there's like a drums down there <laughs> yeah. cool. fender telly and a drum set yeah <laughs> Like, damn, yeah. this, that these was guys cool. are living a dream job. Yeah. That was, uh, I'm glad that happened. That was cool. Like, w- glad that you got to see that. <laughs> it was <laughs> cool for me. <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was funny, though, because we were in the back in this room, like a foreign room, where we had to walk through three other rooms to get to. And me and John, and a couple of us are looking at e- each other. And I'm like, dude, I got to piss. I'm so <laughs> bad. <laughs> Gotta pee, man. And then at one point, the brewer's like, he's like, I gotta pee. So he walked out back or something, and we're kind of looking at him. And I think John's like, Is it right if I go too? He's like, No, he said, You got a porta potty or something back here? And the guy's like, Just go back. And we're like, All right, good. It was pitch black. It man. was pitch. It was John walked, walked into a pole. It was outside, obviously. And John walked into a pole. In, the, in, a, in a nor'easter. Yeah. This is what I learned too. Yeah, nor'easter. But yeah. it's funny because we were supposed to we were supposed to get back to Jersey early because yeah. we were going to do dinner. Yeah. And I called my wife and I was like, "This is not happening, babe." Like, Dang. and she's like, "What?" And I was like, "We're sitting. We're we're in some cool shit right now. I'm not leaving this place." Is that what you said? Yeah. Yep. Well, you sure? You'd... I said we're experiencing some cool shit right now. Like, you know, um, we'll get there when we get there. And she's also, like, "Well, I'll just eat." I was like, "You eat." And... But like, I feel like it would be like almost disrespectful. And like, then she hit me when I got this experience, you know? Like, yeah, absolutely. Like, and then we should be so lucky to experience this experience. The so last g- thing you want to do is be like, "Hey, thanks for the yeah. trouble and coming down here just for us, peace." I, I guess that's why too. It's on me. Like sometimes, see, that's why I hate like making plans, man. Because you just sometimes like whiskey thief. You know what I mean? We made mm. plans to go somewhere else after, and that was our favorite spot at yep. the whole I'm like, I could have sat there all day. Yeah. You know, yeah. So it's hard when you make plans and you don't have a lot of time. I, yeah. I think it's more the time constraint because you try to get everything in in one it's, little bit of time. It's not you know? just the time too; it's our bodies. Like you get yeah. to a point where your bodies just start to say, "I can't do this for anymore." Like I've, I had enough alcohol for today, and I've had enough where you're just starting to, starting to shut down a little bit. Mm-hmm. You know, and it actually shows like 
the trooper you are because I feel like we're like pulling you in twenty different directions. He's Look at the cat skills to New York, and you, but he's like, he's not I human. Don't care, he's not human. No. There's yeah. something going he's on. He's like, here. tell me where we're going to be ready. I'm like, what do you want to see? I don't care. Just tell me when to be yeah. ready. And I'm like, Dude. yeah. Uh, I mean, this is like a once in a lifetime experience. Man, I, I, I mean, you definitely. Handle your beer and alcohol a lot better than we. Do. <laughs> a lot better. I don't think so. That doesn't say much about me, like no, as a, a it, professional drinker. No, it's not. No, it, it's probably the opposite. It's just probably because me and John have put so much abuse on our bodies. Uh, now they just can't handle it anymore. You're probably more responsible. I don't think so, man. Uh, <laughs> I'm just really good at drinking. That's a problem. <laughs> that's, that's a whole other problem, right? Yeah, and we said that about Dom too. Dom kind of is like that. He can just he seems like he, can he drink seems whatever. always the same. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't get drunk. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't get drunk. But yeah. we were talking on the way here. Um, that whole New York City yesterday, like I, I feel like I didn't get drunk. No. See what I'm talking about we with homeostasis? Like it's like you get like a comfortable buzz and a homeostasis, and then you're walking miles between the next buzz. Yeah. They're like you're burning mm-hmm. it off. Yeah. No, oh, we walked a lot. Yeah. I'm curious yeah. how many steps we took. Um. 20,000? It has to be. Yeah. yeah I feel like I walk more than at Disneyland. I, I yeah. 30,000 there. There's a lot of walking. And then... But it was like uh, it was like uh, National Lampoon's Vacation. <laughs> There's the uh, Empire State Building. <laughs> I need a drink. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, we, cool. Getting parched. Gotta go. Go to Destin. We're two blocks away from Rockefeller Center of the tree. Like, Destin, you want to see the tree? No. No. I've seen trees before. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, I'm like, there's a big tree right there. And he's like, no, but this one's really big. I'm like, bro, I live by the Sequoia yeah, he's like, National I live by the Forest. Sequoia. <laughs> like, Touche. You call that a tree? <laughs> okay. Uh, 20,167 steps. Wow. Damn, good call. 10.3 miles. Look at that. Good call. Look at that. Wow. And I probably did a little bit, little bit more than you guys at that end there because I had to walk an extra. Well, we had to, well, we had to walk to you though. Yeah, that's true. Come on, that's true. That's it true. just levels out. Yeah, that's like equilibrium. Half the time, it's really. not like we're even walking. It's like we're floating <laughs> to the next place. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like 20. hovering by the smell of cats delicatessen, like <laughs> yeah. dragging our toes. Like, hmm. and I lost maybe half a pound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's okay. We'll get it back. We'll get it back. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, that was a little. I was telling these guys it was a little scary for me coming back because they they took you the bus. put yourself at risk. They we t- had backup plans. Yeah, <laughs> you didn't. They took the bus. Well, you brought a spare battery. That was the backup plan. That's yeah. like what? Yeah, he... my phone was like dying, and John's like, Ken, just walk straight eight blocks. You'll find the train station. <laughs> I was like, I got it. <laughs> you did say it like that. Yeah. He was like, I got it. And then I, I he's did. like, I'm just not going to touch my phone <laughs> so that I can make sure I could get an Uber to get home once this yeah. train stops. John had texted me you on the trip. I didn't even know that you texted me until afterwards, though. But uh, I texted I texted you when I got home. I was passed out. Yeah. And so I had to walk to the train, Got finally got to the train station, walked around in circles. I was like, where the hell do I go? I go to some guy. I was like, which track is Morristown? He's like, you got to wait 10 minutes before the train's supposed to be here and the track will come up. I was like, oh, good, good, good. So I sat there and like my eyes glued to the, yeah. the screen waiting for to see which track it was. Finally got on it. It's an hour and 15 minute train ride. And my phone was at like 13% at that point when I got on. I was like, can't look at my phone, can't look at my phone. Then I started going through paranoia thinking about the, um, am I going to get an Uber at one something in the morning from Morristown? Because it's kind of like on a Monday, on a Monday, it's like ghost town. (laughs) So I was like, shoot, I don't think I'm going to get a ride. Thankfully, it all worked out. The Uber driver was pretty quick and he was shocked. He was like, dude. How long did you wait for an Uber? I was like, you came in like five minutes. He's like, oh my god, you're lucky, man. Sometimes out here, when I saw your text this morning, you texted me. It was like one forty a.m. I've already been sleeping like an hour and a half. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I was oh, still shit. awake. Yeah, I thought about my texting bad. you, but I was so yeah. afraid of like wasting your battery. I know, like, I know, I know. If Ken gets stranded, it's not me because I text him to see how he's. Doing. I know it's that one last sound. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guess I'm walking. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that'd be a heck of a stretch, Morristown. I wouldn't be able to do it. I'd have to figure it out. I would have to. But yeah, what would I do? I don't know. They didn't seem like a lot of <laughs> hotels in that no. neck of the woods. Just um, sleep in the bus station. You know that uh, that would have been a good idea. I think there is a hotel in Morristown. I'd, I'd just walk around and ask. You would have just met us for lunch, right. like all normal. I know. Yeah, <laughs> we'd been in the same clothes you yesterday, man. What's up, guys? Did you go home, Did you go home yet? <laughs> no, no, I'm still going. Yeah, it worked out. I was happy. I I woke up this morning. I had to see my son because I haven't seen him like for like a day, and I was like, ah, I gotta yeah. see, 
you know, and so I spent some time in the morning, and then my wife goes to drop him off at school, and she comes back, and she's like, uh, I, 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 I was in the bedroom laying back on the bed. She's like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm going back to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> I need sleep. I, 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 I was, I, like, not even five hours at that point. I'm not like, Dustin's, like, not human um, and can sleep for three hours and wake up I'm bright just, and shiny. No, I, it just, no. Maybe just, I've never been bright or shiny, so, like, no one knew the <laughs> yeah. difference. Shit, I haven't seen my kids in a couple, since Sunday night. Yeah. I was I couldn't I, I died last I night. Them, I didn't maybe. wake up. I didn't wake up. Yeah. This morning I had my alarm set early. I wanted to like see them. I wanted to like get us up and ready to go. <laughs> and I think I died for a few it, hours. So the like, alarm went off and he's like, Hell no, no. The alarm went off, but I don't remember touching it. Uh, he was time- I probably threw it across the room. <laughs> time traveling his way through it, dreaming about alarms. And I was like, Dustin, I'll pick you up maybe around ten. Next thing I know, it's like ten fifteen. I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah. But it was good. That would have been too early. So <laughs> And then today we went out to lunch, and here we are, film, filming we are. the podcast. And we got one, yeah. one we more. we got a half a day left. Half a day left with Dustin. Um, how, how did Jersey treat you, bro? Uh, awesome, but mostly well, he was just in New York awesome. Most of the time. I know, we were in New York a <laughs> lot. Yeah. Now, though, for me, like, Jersey is you guys. So, like, I don't know. You guys are the most hospitable people I could have ever imagined. Nah. I'm, I'm just feel blessed and lucky. Nah. And Don't put us on any kind of pedestal here, man. Uh, nah. No. Well, I just I don't I think just that's want... what he's doing. Yeah. Saying thank you, bro. Yeah. yeah, I can't like I can't uh. say thanks enough. No, like, uh, for the uh, freaking uh, experience. No, thank. And like I said before, Dustin's super generous when he shouldn't be, be being generous because he's our guest. No. We just wish we had you for some more yeah. time, man. Because there's yeah. still so much more to do. Yeah, I know. Dude, but I, I feel guilty. it's gonna force you to come back. Yeah. yeah, I just feel guilty. Like I just hit these guys up last minute. And it's like near Christmas. You're like all the crap you guys got to do, and you're like. Yeah, come on over. Canceled everything to see you, man. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. See, yeah, but no, but that's. I was supposed to get married this weekend, but <laughs> I said no. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Dustin's my coming. third kid was just born the other day. <laughs> yeah. I'll see him when I get to him. Yeah. I'll get to him when I get to him. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! But you're no, welcome. We're, we're blessed you're, and lucky and too because our wives are accommodating for our our. And to your thank yeah. you, you're very yeah, welcome, we're dude. Yeah. You're very welcome. Um, yeah. Just uh, it's it's been quite the. Um, I think we're all fortunate where Time. we can do something like this and be like, hey, short term, I'm coming out. And like, we're fortunate enough where we can like work around the schedule and be like, dude, I'll, I can do this. Yeah. Let's do it. You know? Yeah. yeah. So even we're all blessed and even thankful. Even before and that, though, like, we're fortunate enough that, I don't know, I just make music in a room, you know? And you guys happen to stumble across it doing something cool, too, which is exactly what I was yeah. into that, like, I became like, uh, have awesome friends from random moments in time. Yeah. And yeah. It's, like, you can't write that crap. Yeah. No, you know? it, this it's uh, we're we're still in shock um, that th- all this played out the way it played out, and we're sitting here right now. I go to the guys while you were outside taking photos at the lake, and you were taking photos of the woods and everything, and you're out on the deck, and uh, I go to Jay was with us too. I go to Jay and John, and I was like, I was like. Uh, Last year, I was blasting Poor Man's Poison exactly where he's standing right there, we're listening playing, to like, their uh, music. We're playing beer punk. For yeah, and I'm pl- I had Poor Man's Poison. Yeah, yeah. And now we have the basis of Poor Man's Poison standing right there. So it's it's surreal to us, too, you know, just to do that. That was awesome, man. Yeah, so we really appreciate that. And we hope that, you know, we hope, hopefully, uh, it sounds like we did, but, you know, we, we, we hope we... Uh, Fulfilled your expectations, you know. I just feel like there's so much more to do. Like I said, you didn't get to like you were so easy going. It's like, what do you want to see? And like, I don't care. Like, yeah. Just I, I would just take me yeah. to eat and drink and let's hang out. You know. Yeah. yeah we could have been sitting in my living room for the last five days. Even tonight, for, had a good even time, tonight you know? for dinner, he's like, I'm kind of moved for see, see if we're like and John and I are like, well, with the kids and yeah. the food and we we we're gonna bring the family because we're talking about bringing our families and everything. You know, yeah. <laughs> we're like, he's like, whatever, man. Yeah. You know, and we I I I feel bad too though. Like, you know, no, it was a cool experience for me too. Yeah. Like you and like my kids and my wife and yeah. you know us going out to like the diner and having a bite to eat that one night with my wife just yeah. to like sit yeah. down and talk like. You know, yeah, well, and that's what I was telling you, man. Like, I don't know, I respect you guys and, and I love you guys as humans, and uh, so I want to experience what you experience, like the ones you love, right? Your wife and kids, yeah, like, yeah. I want to know them because that is part of what makes John John, mm. and like, yeah. you know, your freaking wife, 
you guys put me up like as if I'm in like some five star hotel, with a bunch <laughs> of comfy soft bed, and all these bottles of water, and I don't even drink any water ever. <laughs> like it's so freaking nice. We put a little mini fridge in there, you know. <laughs> no. I was telling the guys when these guys come to California, we got to figure out a way. Like we got to buy red carpet. I don't know. We gotta no, find a way. No. How do we red roll carpet. this puppy out? No, no. It's gonna be hard to compete. That's yeah. what. That's all I'm saying. No, it's not. I think it'll be sweeter because like where you are. It'll be more of us chilling than wanting, uh, like us wanting to like show you this. Yeah. Like excited you're here. Let me show you this. Yeah, we, whereas if we go to you, it's going to be really just chill. Like, yes. We just want to chill. More of a wind down. Like this, yeah. we felt like we really were throwing a lot at That's you. That's why I say we need to do so this much, again. Like yeah. I wish we had more time to just, like we said today yeah. was going to be like a chill day. You know yeah. what I mean? We were talking about switching New York to today and I was like, but weather wise, well, that would have sucked. Yeah. Even though it rained, it was still warm. It Today's really, yeah. freaking freezing. Yeah, Dude, really we'd have been like freezing. We'd have been home Plus already. Plus, yeah, it's, your, <laughs> you la- it's your last night. You got a long just wanna, like, flight chill, tomorrow. Man. Yeah, it's almost like, all right, maybe we should just. Yeah, and I chill. hadn't got a chance to go to dinner with your guys' family. And yeah. To me, I feel like that's most important. Yeah. Like, well, you, like I said, you're going to get our kids on like their iPads <laughs> and their phone. Hey, <laughs> how do you like school? Okay. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah, but he's like a say I did it. Yeah, right. Because yeah. that's what I care about. Well, man. we appreciate you coming out here, man. It's been fun. It really has been awesome. Um, Would I'm you come back? Yeah. All right. Oh, in a second. But you guys got to go there first. Yeah. Yeah, we do got to go out there. We do. Otherwise, I got to like hold that as like over your head, like I can't go. Yeah, back I, until yeah, you guys I know. Yeah. Spend time at we'll the beach and the mountains, and I get to barbecue for you for I, a change. Well, that's what I want. I don't care about beach or mountains. Yeah. I want some of the stuff that you're creating yeah. over there. Oh yeah, man. I want to. I want you to. That I would say you'd have to kind of do. You'd have to cook for us. You man. Have to. I yeah. felt like I'm bad that I didn't get to at least he, like pay. He, that's how I would pay my. Respects. He's like, let me cook for you guys. He's like, let, let like me where? go on my gr- my grill. We're gonna yeah. bring a bonfire in Ken's yeah. backyard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it's been real, man. It's been great. And, oh, by the way, John and I wanted to say Merry Christmas to you. Yeah. Uh, we got you a little something, too, <laughs> by oh, the no. way. What? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. You're freaking kidding me. There you go, bud. This is for you, buddy. You're lying. Nah, that's for you, bro. No, I can't take that. Yes, you yeah, are. I'm not yeah, you better. It. Yes, yeah, you better. Yes, sir. No, hell no. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, right there, man. Santa Claus is real, and he is in the speakeasy. Yeah, easy, single baby. barrel, baby. Feel good about this. Yeah. Uh, you saw I snuck the other day. I was like, oh, "Gh Taylor," <laughs> and I was thinking about Dude, it. Dude, that's <laughs> like when I couldn't feel like m- more guilty. You're gonna guilty, guilty about what? <laughs> I can't like do anything to like help. You've like, done it already. Please, no, man, man. Please, we're yeah. just returning some of that generosity, man. Dude, too, man. You no, you no. were super generous to be our guest. The, how generous you've been, you know. And besides that, just to I feel so be our bad. guest, man. Yeah. <laughs> You, That's ridiculous. You trek that you, shit out here from California. Yeah. Don't do that, dude. No, absolutely. Nope. That's Merry yours. Christmas. No turning around. Please. Turn, turn around. Enjoy it. Wrap yes. it up. Please. Yes. Who are we shouting out today? Uh, Hirsch. 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 Judd Hirsch. Single Barrel from Taxi. Does anybody? When I keep saying AKA, Judd Hirsch, does anybody understand what I'm saying? No. AKA Purple Top. <laughs> nine years. You ever watch yeah. Taxi? Will it? Taxi. Yeah. Years ago. Judd Hirsch, man. Yeah. Who's uh, uh, Ta- uh? I know Danny DeVito. Not the no the other guy. Oh. He uh, was, Tony uh, Danza. He was. What's that show? He had that show. <laughs> tap dance extravaganza. <laughs> tap dance extravaganza. You're in a metal band, right? Like no, hardcore? I, it's hardcore. I I don't know that one though. <laughs> oh, it, they even made it on the Tony Danza show. Oh yeah. yeah. Dear John, remember Dear John? Christopher Lloyd. Dear John. Christopher Lloyd. Christopher Lloyd. Yeah. Oh, oh I'm naming Falky? every act. Falky. I, yeah. No, Falky. No, that was. No, what yeah. was it? Laka, Laka, yeah. yeah, Laka. I know which guy you're talking about. By the time he that, received this Hurt. letter, dear, dear I'll be gone. Dear John, uh, yeah, dear John, that's a stupid idiot. Kid. Yeah. All right, who dear else we shout out? Hirsch, Kane uh, Brewing, Kane, Kane. Awesome yeah, to f- crack this after uh, f- almost where we're hitting 2024 now. That's from 2019. <laughs> shout out <laughs> yeah. these guys. Five years. Mm, shout out to you. No, shout out man. to NYC for uh, giving us a, a good time yesterday. And yeah. shout out to we. Uh, you'll see me again in 20 years because I hate. And we uh, and Ryan, you know what? Ryan showed up a couple times throughout our trip as well. So he was at John's Pizzeria with us. Yeah, John's a bleaker. Did and we talk about John's a bleaker? We started and then we didn't never we went back to it. Going, going there, but we never really went yeah, back. Yeah, John's a bleaker is a port. So as um, Dustin had mentioned to us, um, Ryan from Portman's Poison, he's a big Sent port night. He's yeah. a big port night. 
Dave Portnoy fan and who I thought was the drummer for Dream Theater, but <laughs> okay. totally different Portnoy, yeah, right. I guess. different guy. And uh, he's like, you got to check out John's Bleaker. So we made sure we went to John's Bleaker, and uh, he had him. He on the sent phone, him a few things. We uh, couldn't accommodate FaceTime. a couple of them. They're just too far. Yeah, but we'll do that next time around. Yeah, but yeah. he's probably like me and thinks Boston's like south of here. So there's that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, next time you bring him with you, yeah. and we'll, we'll we'll actually put together a Portnoy pizza. Map and we yeah. will do all that shit. Oh yeah, there's a lot. There's Portnoy a lot. Pizza plan. Yeah. Yes, yeah. and I'll have to say, sorry, Ryan, I'm gonna have to say this. Um, some of these places at Portnoy thinks are really good. They're are not, that, not good. that good. But that's what's cool because if you bring him and you show him, and he, yeah. and he well, knows his food and he yeah. knows what he likes yeah. very solidly, and you're like, this is yeah. a pie. Yeah, yeah. He'll be like, that's a pie. But yeah. it's funny you showed him last night and he was like, that's it. Like. Yeah. Right? He didn't look like he was in How yeah. is it? And you're like, eh. No, nah, but he, yeah. what do you, what do you say whenever I look at the crust? had a nice crust? undercarriage. Nice yeah. undercarriage. <laughs> <laughs> look at that undercarriage. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, shout out to, did Mike drive you to the airport? Or no? Yep. Shout I'm out to Mike for doing that. Yeah, so Don't that's pretty to cool. Don't forget to pick him up. Don't yeah. strand him I mean, like he's Ken. Superman. Yeah. Super Mike. He probably just flies there. And yeah. Rents yeah, a we car. talked about Tommy a lot, too, and how... He yeah. does man he stuff on man street. Stuff on man, <laughs> man stuff on man street. <laughs> <laughs> and don't tell him how to. Tommy be would be proud. We fought a lot of crime last night. <laughs> <laughs> Although none tables were flipped. No, that no. we were able to. Not yet, at least. Yeah, yet. We still have one more day here, so you never know. Uh, cheers to cheers uh, to uh, uh, Merry Christmas, back in everybody. California. Man. Merry Christmas. Wait, it's one last cheers. I'm gonna jump on. I'm sorry. Yeah, dude. I'm not trying to finish it. <laughs> Just a taste, tight taste. Nah, take a lot. Just a tip. Just a tip. <laughs> Just a tip. <laughs> uh, cheers, Dustin, man. Johnny. Thank you, guys. Love cheers. you, guys. Love you. All right. Merry Christmas, both Merry of you. Christmas. Merry Christmas, right. everybody watching. All right. And peace. Peace. What's up, guys? It's John. John. And Jay. And Dustin coming yes. to visit us from Hanford, California. Thanks for making the trek, buddy. It's been no. fun. It's been awesome. We're having a great time. Hit up some breweries. And now we're enjoying some birds. What do we got here? We are at yeah. the last whiskey bar. Last whiskey bar. Last Sorry, whiskey whiskey bar. Bar. like we the got, last Starfighter the... movie, but this is the last whiskey bar. Maybe last the last Star whiskey bar. Last Starfighter. Last American version. Last American version. Yes. Last American hero. <laughs> last American hero. I'm drinking yes. the uh, Michter's Ten Bourbon. <laughs> I have the Weller Single Barrel. What for a double oak? Uh, Dustin's double Kentucky fisted. Owl. Kentucky. It's owl. some kind of t- some special release owl variant. Dustin fashion. Dustin double fisting. It's yeah. I mean, it's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. Yes. Where's Dom? He loves the fisting. Dom, say hi. <laughs> <laughs> Dom with the house lock. Uh, we're, 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 we're having a good time. Made up a few places, and uh, it's nice hanging out with these guys. No, it's been fun. Really cool. Dom's beer right yeah. there. Zoom nice in. Thumbs. Zoom in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, uh, Gosh, we'll try to get some delicious. footage of inside. Yeah, we're gonna see Dustin footage. coming up on, a, uh, on an episode soon. Yes. And, uh, happy holidays. Or it might be on this episode that we're putting Merry this on. Yeah. Yes. Happy holidays. Yeah. All right. Cheers, guys. Hey. Dom, thank you. Happy holidays, Cheers. Dom. Man behind the scenes. Get over here. All right. I know. Cheers. I know. Cheers. Cheers. All right.